Recently, I decided to invest in the Purism Librem 5 phone, and I'm ridiculously excited for this device. I decided to check out the software stack they've created so far. Instead of using the default GNOME shell like originally planned, they've They've created this shell called Polish, which by default is packaged for Debian, but I also found packages in the OpenSUSE repository. It looks like they use Jenkins to build nightly builds of whatever the latest stuff is, so go ahead and download whatever the latest is, run this command to convert it to something VirtualBox can read or use KVM or whatever the hell they want you to do. VirtualBox is just easy, though. Um, but do note that VirtualBox has this weird resolution issue where everything is not quite a phone screen size. My guess is that is what's causing a lot of these rendering issues. Starting up, it looks like any other Grub x86 distribution. Of course, the phone's going to look different on startup. It's going to have some other bootloader on the actual Librem 5. This is the swipe lock screen. And the uh, default pin is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seems pretty basic. Oh, hell. There's a rotate option. Um, switch to normal. Perfect. All right, so the top panel is just that basic drop down. On the phone, I'm assuming it's just going to take up most of the top there. So do note that this is going to be on a much smaller screen. So I'm, I'm assuming you'll click on one of these things and it'll switch to a whole new display with a back button or something like that. But since it's this weird resolution that uh, hasn't been tested much, it's kind of screwing up the format, I'm assuming. But you can definitely get the idea of what they've created and added. It's very GNOME-like. GNOME settings spread out in almost a Android interface way. It's cool to see this. High contrast is ugly, but I mean, legible. <laughs> Large text. I'm actually pretty impressed with these usability tools. If you have a hard time seeing, you can definitely turn these up. However, the cursor size is not super relative for a phone. I'm curious to know what the screen reader does. I couldn't get it to function, but that could be interesting text to speech, possibly. Now, I couldn't get the zoom options to work either. Um, I don't know if that's a virtual box issue or what, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. But my guess is that you can get like a fisheye lens zoom effect which would be pretty cool especially if you can have like a tap and hold fisheye effect also do note that the Librem 5 phone is going to be 5.7 inches which if you look at other 5.7 inch phones that's going to be pretty pretty hefty so theoretically this could be a godsend to someone who needs a phone with large text, high contrast, zoom effects, screen readers. So it's got some really interesting promise here. Holy actual hell, that keyboard is ugly. Um, please, please, please invest time on theming the keyboard. That is definitely the ugliest thing I've seen in a while. I really have no idea what all these typing assistant and options do or are for. They didn't seem to change much. 
once again, I don't think a cursor is going to really be that important once we get to the actual Librem 5 phone touch interface. I don't know about this. Are we going to be double tapping to, to right click, essentially, on our phone? What are we going to be doing? Hover click. That could be interesting. You know, for a phone focused on privacy, it's kind of hilarious to see Google at the top of this. Screen lock, interesting locations, off by default, <laughs> usage and history on. Ooh, trash files, interesting. Now these sound settings look just like the GNOME ones, which, to be honest, is kind of awesome. Front, okay, right. yep, audio is working. Front, left. Oof, these power settings seem way more fitting on a desktop than a phone. You're gonna have my phone screen on for five minutes and then turn off? Please, no. Suspend. Do phones suspend, quote-unquote? I don't think so. I hope they add some standby options and the like. Ooh, promise of VPN. Very good. Now, if only I could change the resolution to an arbitrary number and get it close to the Librem 5 size. This is an interesting feature. Theoretically, we can make the screen more orange or blue, depending on the time of day. Keyboard shortcuts. Again, this seems more fitting for a desktop class. Desktop instead of a phone that has no physical keyboard. How about touch screen settings? <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, this will be much more complex in the future, I'm sure. Thunderbolt. Interesting. And I'm assuming this is all of the apps at the moment. I wasn't able to find an app drawer, so these are the only ones I was able to find, or the ones under favorites. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it does give us a good test sample anyway. Let's create a Bob. Arbitrary data, arbitrary data, how about some arbitrary data? Oh, okay, the thing is at the top. Oh, now he's my favorite. Okay, well, I'm, I'm assuming it'll be easy to call this person eventually. Phone dialer looks like a phone dialer. No complaints there. Hmm. Well. I'm not really sure what that's going to look like. Here's the calendar. Looks pretty good. Event. Okay, that's pretty easy. It's straightforward and I like it. Okay, file browser. Feels just like the GNOME one. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Don't open the FS tab with Document Viewer. I don't really know any PDFs are, so moving on. Okay, let's take a look at the browser. Not bad, good default. I mean, it looks solid so far. Oh, I don't know if I want to click on any of these. Let's play this video. Oh, that video. Hello everyone. Over thousands of years, our planet has been in. 
Okay, it's smooth. Enough. Now that doesn't tell us anything about how good it's going to perform on the actual phone. But uh, it looks like a good base. It looks pretty solid. Let's check out the terminal. All right, we got ourselves a nice Debian-based distribution. Terminal is obviously the GNOME one, and because of that, it's a solid terminal. Okay, the root password is 123456, just like the pin. I'm curious to know if they keep those synced on purpose. All right, the repositories seem to function. So, solid terminal. Yep, that's about all I could find in this build. I'm sure there'll be more every day. Thanks for watching. Bye.